ለመማር ወደ ትምህርት ተቋም መሄድ ግድ አይደለም ናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ ራሳችሁን ከኮሮና ቫይረስ ወረርሽኝ የተበቃችሁ በቤታችሁ ወይም በተመቻችሁ ቦታ በኢንተርኔት አማካኝነት በኦንላይን ትምህርታችሁን መከታተል ይቻላል ካናዳ ከሚገኙ ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ ኢንስቲትዩት ኦፍ ኮመርሻል ማኔጅመንት አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር የሚሰጡ ትምህርቶችን ተከታተላችሁ በስድስት ወር ጊዜ በአለም አቀፍ ደረጃ ተቀባይነት ያለውን የስልጣና ማስረጃ ባለቤት መሆን ይቻላል ከኢትዮጵያ ሲቪል አቪሽን ባለስልጣን ሙሉቅና አገኘንባቸው የፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን እና የሆስተስ ስልጣናም በመዝገባ ላይ ነን ጥያቄና መልስ የክፍል ስራዎች ብሎም ፈተና መፈተን ክፍል ውስጥ እንዳላችሁ አይነት ልምድ ባላችሁ መምራን እየተማራችሁ በኦንላይን ባላችሁበት ቦታ አድራሻ ከ22 ማዞሪያ ወደ ሾላ ገቢያ በሚወስደው መንገድ 150 ሜትር ገባ ብሎ ናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ ህልሞን እውን ያደርጋል research chapter 7 research report writing and presentation in middle part will actually going to be discussed today basically the first part of this chapter is related to white introduction about how to write a successful research report primarily basing on academic cases then uh, maybe i will also give you brief discussions on overall layout of research report but the... for uh, at least in this class just yes, we will going to uh, maybe discuss the layout of research report of particularly basing thesis and subsequently certain issues related to writing uh, uh, how to write standard scientific report uh, in this regard we will actually going to discuss certain issues related to the format for citation either in text citations or referencing issues will also be just discussed in this part and then the last part uh, is also uh, presenting the result is also a part of research methodology I and mean, how to actually prepare a powerpoint slide and then how to also made communication of your result is also a part and this regard i will also uh, give you some specific uh, maybe pointers that must be actually considered and then at least uh, i will actually uh, maybe discuss uh, first two part uh, by this class uh, actually uh, in principle after conducting research if it is not actually communicated to the end users that is actually in, incomplete therefore the report immediately uh, maybe should be quickly uh, uh, communicated to the end users this is because as you already just noted in the maybe first part of the thesis which is uh, uh, on the statement problem you actually promised a number of issues to provide basic solutions and to provide uh, maybe policy recommendations based on that immediately it should also be just communicated and then that was uh, the case and then let us also uh, maybe um, uh, particularly discuss uh, certain issues in this regard particularly how to actually properly compile research reports is a part of these sections indeed there are different uh, specific uh, media for actually undertaking report for scientific report writing uh, cases and then uh, this was actually uh, of all you we might actually preferably use uh, different methods uh, like academic publishing your result using academic journals and or uh, maybe presenting your result through a kind of conference uh, presentation uh, format or presenting your result and thesis through maybe uh, uh, maybe certain document format particularly for some institutions that might also be the case whatever the case after conducting research research should be communicated as soon as possible time through all possible different media of reporting research uh, results otherwise uh, it is not actually uh, met the end target that was the case therefore this part i will actually give you a very good uh, highlight how to actually undertake a final thesis report 
and this part is primarily discussing the main subsections uh, of the standard uh, thesis report. And then this uh, thesis report will have a number of subspecific sections. The first uh, main subsection is preliminary section. The preliminary section is immediately uh, starting from this was actually the case. Uh, the first uh, thesis research report uh, will include mainly the introduction part. And then this introduction part will also constitute a number of subspecific components like background of study, the statement of problem, objective of study, hypothesis or research questions, significance of study, limitation of study, organization of the thesis, and then uh, second part of this research uh, report will also uh, constitute literature uh, review. Uh, it will also include both theoretical literature and empirical literature, and then um, optionally, in some of the studies is also possibly uh, uh, conceptual framework study will also be just included in the second part. Third part is research methodology part. And then this part, we expect descriptions of study area. It might be an organizations or research, explaining research, new research design, new research, uh, maybe data types, sources, method of data collections, sampling design, method of analysis, if you also uh, apply econometrics models, specification of models, definition of variables, all those will also be just included in the research methodology part. The uh, subsequent result in discussion part is also constitute mainly uh, two part. Some of the case, mostly a report on descriptive statistics result is uh, presented at the beginning. Subsequently, a discussions on certain econometrics model will also be followed if you apply econometrics model. And the last part of uh, main research report will also constitute summary conclusion recommendations. And then uh, one thing you also need to uh, distinguish a summary versus a conclusion. And then in some of uh, the thesis, it is quite difficult to distinguish the difference between summary and conclusion. Summary is simply a, a mini specific brief uh, report of all specific sections from the first part, which is from the introduction part. You might also include mainly certain issues from research methodology part and the result discussion part will also be just included. That was actually uh, referred to be summary. Usually we, uh, in summary, we expect to use certain statistical figures will also be possible. But the conclusion is just what is already just obtained, result. And then that is actually entirely rely on result discussion part. And then therefore, uh, the distinction between summary and conclusion is quite difficult and then for which uh, you will observe in most of the thesis work both summary and conclusion will be the same therefore summary summary might be monitored from each main aspect of the thesis starting from the interaction part research methodology part result discussion part whereas conclusion is just entirely building from result discussion part entirely from uh, the fourth part, which is from the result discussion part. What is already just obtained, you, you will need to actually make a conclusion from that. And the recommendation is also need to be uh, developed based on your uh, finding. One thing, uh, a student is also bothered to actually uh, maybe make recommendation for their uh, specific thesis. This is because uh, the problem is recommendation must be just emanated from conclusion, but some of the students, they also just simply copied recommendation from other workers, and for which it will actually reduce the quality of very good work. Despite what, whatever you made a very good work on the previous sections, if you fail to provide a proper recommendation to the, your uh, thesis, and then that was actually not meeting the end target. And therefore, the outlook for the future research at the end is also expected. You have to also suggest certain uh, maybe future research uh, uh, directions for future uh, researchers. That is also expected at the end of the recommendations. And then uh, don't forget, each of these sections has its own specific values, particularly the thesis evaluation. And the thesis evaluation almost most of these uh, subsections have its own specific values and they try to also meet correctly. And then for your actual quick, quick uh, maybe uh, memory and or uh, 
just to give you overall uh, maybe hint of the layout of the MS thesis and then or MBA thesis. Uh, it looks uh, maybe uh, it looks uh, the following format. And then I will actually once again briefly explain each subsection. So what is expected and then all those. In this part, the first part, primary section of the thesis, that was actually before the before the introduction part. And then the first part is a cover page, the second part, title page, approval sheet, approval sheet, particularly you might also basing for writing approval sheet based on university format. And then you might also add dedications if you want to actually dedicate uh, your thesis to uh, to make recognition for some somebody that is also possible in thesis because um, at the end of this maybe uh, this thesis is just the end uh, almost is expected to be the end uh, uh, maybe goal of your academic career and then mostly it's also uh, possible to uh, give recognition for those who have already just developed uh, maybe uh, contribute to much for your academic career. Therefore, that is also optional. Some of students, optionally, they might make a dedication. They, they might dedicate their thesis to uh, their, 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 their some base. Some others might not. That is optional. The statement of author, it is expected to be uh, uh, written by, uh, by the university format, more or less, what we expect in this statement of order is the thesis actually, which is already just compiled by you, is not uh, submitted to earn a degree or it is maybe the kind of stating the thesis is just original of your or your own work. That was referred as statement of order. In some of uh, the kids also submitted uh, as this uh, declaration. Yes, that is also the book. Mainly the primary section part is already just uh, discussed. Some of the primary section, the section that is appearing before the introduction part is uh, uh, optional. And then uh, immediately bibliographical sketch is also optional. This was in some of the universities that is mandatory to actually explain briefly the biographical uh, sketch of uh, the author. but for other uh, maybe universities that is also uh, not requiring. And acknowledgement is a must. You have to actually provide a duly an acknowledgement for those who contributed for your work. And an agronomist and abbreviation is also need to be properly, uh, properly uh, implemented. In this regard, you should note the distinction between acronymist versus abbreviation. Acronymous is already just known abbreviations like W, uh, World Bank, or IMF. This one is almost known to everyone. That is referred as acronymous. Abbreviation is actually what is already just used by the researchers while writing his data. Therefore, in both of the case, both, both, both need to be actually stated. For instance, if a student want to actually write uh, his own abbreviation like uh, Hick, to say hectare, and that is actually referred to be abbreviation. It's no more acronym. Acronym is just internationally recognized acronym, yes? But abbreviation is just particularly uh, specific to the uh, that specific. Unless both must also be just provided. The table of content is also uh, need to be uh, included in this part. List of tables, list of figures. And don't forget, uh, you also need to uh, put you also need to put uh, these premium sections in their respective order. That is uh, that is also expected, yes? Then subsequent part is primarily the discussions on uh, introduction part. I will actually discuss those part uh, very shortly. 
But while you are writing the primary sections of the thesis, you, you need to actually consistently uh, apply the same specific uh, format and an order to this thesis, which is almost mostly uh, common for most uh, thesis, uh, including any most institutions in the European higher education system. Therefore, uh, While writing these uh, primary sessions, you need to ac actually consistently uh, write the primary sessions with the same order. That is uh, one thing. Then uh, uh, the list of tables in the appendix, list of figures in the appendix. And then the last part of the appendix is abstract. And then uh, these are almost the first primary uh, session part. And then uh, the main part of the thesis will actually could be divided into six parts. From the introduction part, literature review, research methodology, result discussion part, summary conclusion recommendation, reference, and appendix. These are almost the main research, uh, the, the chapters in the thesis, particularly main uh, aspect of the thesis is also the part. Uh, I will actually give you some descriptions of each part uh, primarily back into starting from this uh, primary session part. For instance, while you are just writing cover page, how do you actually write the cover page? There is a standard format. And then how, how do you also write the title page, the approval sheet? But if, uh, you need to also just uh, aware about these issues. Uh, starting from cover page, while writing the cover page, uh, but the cover page of the thesis, you also need to uh, include uh, the following specific parts. One thing you have to include, particularly the university logo. The title of the thesis is also expected. Uh, and then you also need to include full name of uh, the student, and then the month, the year, the place of submission of the thesis need to also be just included in the cover page. That is expected. And then therefore, let's actually observe uh, how these uh, premier sections would also be just included all these aspects. And then imagine this one, it, it seems kind of a sample page cover page format and then at the same uh, at the top uh, center usually mostly we expect the university logo subsequently we'll also include uh, in bold letter the title of the proposal if it is proposal and then the name of the student Month, year, university, and then that is almost the case. But while you, you are just writing the the title, and then the, the title and the student name need to be used using uh, bold font size 40, whereas uh, and center capital font size should also be just applied down. And then this was almost uh, referred as title page, the cover page. But the title page, uh, the title page uh, particularly is a page that is actually uh, appearing immediately after um, the second cover page. This cover page, uh, the title page will also include very uh, important uh, informations. Uh, one thing you also note, the table number, it will also start from the, the title page with Roman number you will actually give the title, uh, know, the page number with Roman starting from that title page. It's not possible to make cover page 
no need of actually including page number on the cover page, but the first page. But the, cover, the, the page number will start from the uh, second page, which is title page. And then you also need to provide using Roman number. It's not using number. And then this part will also include certain very uh, pertinent information like the name of the department, the school of graduate studies, maybe uh, the requirement of thesis, the name of the candidate, month, year, place of submission need, need to also be just put. And then while you are just writing title page, try to use uh, this specific format. Title research proposal, first, but in this case, it must also be just centered, but bold face with only the first letter. You also need to actually capitalize only the first letter, yes? like research, like R, proposal, like B, yes? You will actually, uh, while writing the title, in the title page, you also need to capitalize only the first letter. And then immediately, the thesis submitted to postgraduate studies, like Department of Management, at the Southern University, impartial fulfillment of requirement for degree of master's uh, art degree in business administration. You also need to actually write this in uh, font size 40, but uh, while you are just writing the name of the university and the name of degree, you have to make it capitalized. Others are just the first letters are capital. And then subsequently, the name of student should be also bold first, and then months, year, and then Addis Ababa University, and then uh, Addis Ababa. That is actually, specifically, you also need to provide a font size 40. But one thing you also need to know, the distinction between while you're writing title page, all uh, capitalization should not be applied. Only you need to apply capital letter for the first letters only from the beginning to the end, except the name of the universities as well as the name of the degrees in this uh, declaration part. And then subsequently, you also need to note certain issues related to this preliminary session. And these preliminary sessions, all heading and entries in the table of content should also be corresponded with the same wording letter as if it is just appearing in the document. And then we, we don't expect to explain uh, the title, the title for table of content, the title for page. And then we also not recommend to uh, apply uh, dotted lines. And then when the table of content is just have and maybe have number of page, you have to actually apply uh, continued at the end. And then that is, uh, that is the case. Like for instance, let me give you uh, maybe sample for table of, table of content. And then you see uh, all the previous sessions are capitalized. That is almost the same capital, capital must also be appearing in the document. And then all these previous sessions need to also apply Roman letter. And then keep on also noting their order. The table of content will also constitute the print sections starting from the statement of the author, acronymous abbreviations, uh, bibliographical sketch, acknowledgement, list of tables, list of figures, up to abstract part. And then this part is almost the, prim the primary part of uh, the thesis. And then all uh, must also be just capitalized. And then second part, introduction. Introduction is the main thesis part. And then you also need to know the distinction between introduction versus background of study. Some of students, they simply started from introduction because introduction will include all aspects of this one. And background study, actually, as you noted, you need to provide brief, briefly, you need to provide the theoretical uh, background of study, or you need to also just provide certain empirical uh, information about the topic. The statement problem is expected to provide two things. That was actually explaining the, the extent, the magnitude of the problem by supporting with empirical finding. Plus, you also need to identify gap. That is also uh, discussed truly in the previous part. Objective study, research hypothesis, research questions. Don't, don't, don't be confused. Research hypothesis, particularly, will be applied when you, you have clues about the expected result as the end. And then, if you actually want to test the result, is it, is it positive or is it negative? A kind of this uh, may be clear indications. If you have 
and then you will apply research hypothesis. Otherwise, you will apply research questions. And then we, we shouldn't actually apply both research hypothesis and research questions together. Significance of study, the specific benefit and the beneficiaries of the research uh, should also be explained briefly. The scope and the material of study, what is already just included, what is not, that was also a part. Organization of study, how the thesis is just organized to the remaining part is also expected to be provided in this part. Literature review, basically, it will be actually classified into two parts. Theoretical literature part. The theoretical literature part, usually it will start from explaining explaining certain basic concept of the topic. And then try to also, uh, maybe you, you might also observe certain theoretical review of the topics. Might also be just expected. Subsequently, the empirical literature is particularly what is already just done on that research elsewhere here. And then that was also the case then <coughs> as I end, the conceptual framework of study is also optionally uh, presented uh, for some studies. Uh, some studies are uh, needing conceptual framework study. This conceptual framework study, it means it is actually how you going to address your objectives by synthesizing theories by reviewing empirical treasures. And in fact, this conceptual framework study is also referred as a guiding framework, guiding framework that will also guide the overall work. And usually after discussing uh, the interaction of variables, how the variables are just uh, inter, uh, interrelated, how the variables are, uh, which variables affecting which one. And then you, you, you uh, mostly this conceptual framework study is also explained using, uh, graphically, so using sketch format is also uh, expected. And then this one is almost the first part of the, the it, it, this is the table, table of contents. And since we have second page, and it, 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 it says continuous, and then on the, on the next page continued, yes? And then that was a research methodology part. Description of study area, if you are just working in some specific targeted area, you might need to explain, for instance, if your research is just conducting in one in Adisawa, you need to provide briefly descriptions to Adisawa. The population, the socioeconomic, and all those might be explained in this part. And then usually if you um, if your study is just related to some specific area, we also need to uh, include the map of study area is also recommended. And then the other is, uh, the other is actually related to uh, if your work is uh, done in one specific company, like maybe one dashing bank, and you also need to provide the company uh, descriptions on this part. Don't forget, some of students are just uh, confusing and then explaining mostly their uh, descriptions of study on the background study. Background study. In the background study, you actually need to provide brief almost why with, with one paragraph main aspect but in this part in this description study area particularly you would provide detailed descriptions about uh, your institutions research design is also the case there are uh, mostly uh, two types of research design research design is a blue uh, a blueprint for conducting your research as you already just noted and then it could also be just classified into two parts cross-sectional research design the one that need causational data, and then longitudinal research design, the one that need either panel or time series data. That is actually the data that needs repeated observations. And then you also need to explain, and then how the remaining, how you actually going to uh, collect data, uh, and then what type of data will also be just used, what type of uh, uh, method of analysis will also be just carried out, will also be just briefly explained in this research design part. Data source could also be just classified, primary data and secondary data, yes? And then which type of data is just used? How do you also collect those data? Where? Where did you obtain those data? The sample design could also be just classified into two parts. Sample size determination formula, how you actually set the sample, and mostly we actually expect to use statistical, statistical formulas and then sampling procedure the sampling specific procedure is also need to also be applied and a method of data analysis is also another method of data analysis is also another that means how do you actually carry out your um, 
objectives and which type of uh, an analysis techniques will also be just applied how need to also be just explain explain and this part result discussion part and then summary conclusion recommendation part and then this result discussion part mainly targeting your research uh, objectives yes if you apply for instance econometric result if you apply for instance multiple linear regression models you also need to separately explain the result of econometrics after providing dulu uh, duly descriptions of uh, sasic uh, sasical results discuss the sasical this result need to also be explained by using different methods summary conclusion recommendations one thing you also need to identify the distinction between summary and the conclusion summary is a mini brief report about all aspects of the thesis but conclusion is just entirely my from your result discussion part that was actually the end uh, answer for your specific objectives and then this need also be just supplemented with recommendations recommendation must also based on conclusion that means the conclusion is in, in some of the case it is an answer for research objectives recommendation is is also uh, expected to provide uh, a kind of prescriptions for your conclusion yes that was that was the case therefore recommendation should should be entirely based on your uh, conclusion the reference part is also the part reference part there are different different formatting part i will actually discuss uh, those issues and uh, uh, these uh, chapters uh, how to actually make either in text or uh, referencing part and app, uh, appendix is also uh, that something which is already just very important but you know it, it might not be actually discussed in the body you need to also be put at the end as an attachment yes for instance uh, the questioner will also be just attached at the end if somebody is who, who want to actually explore about uh, certain issues and he might go yes otherwise uh, that is not supplementary uh, part that was the, the part and then the other uh, part uh, on the previous session uh, that i just forget to give you very good uh, highlight is about abstract abstract need to be actually written in one single paragraph it is the last page of primary section it must also be italic format with single uh, paragraph and then it must also be just written in single page and an abstract is uh, need to provide briefly main aspect of the thesis and then particularly it might explain the motivation of your work briefly why you are just quite motivated to undertake the work about two three line the objective study the methodological issues the result and discussion part briefly recommendation studies with one specific uh, maybe paragraph with one page need to be uh, included a balanced discussions of each section is also need to be added uh, you also need to add uh, certain keywords particularly if you actually simply uh, find out the 10 key main words need to also be just included while you also just put the keywords don't forget to also include your study area your study companies the methods part and the certain issues on the problem that is from all main aspect the one that will actually leads you your work is also expected that was a part and then uh, let me actually give you uh, uh, the chance uh, first then i will actually back that clear so far the discussion if you have questions and then i will actually doctor can i come in question yeah, um, yeah about uh, the bibliographic sketch yeah. Uh, you told us that it's not mandatory, I mean, optional. Yeah. So I think there are two types of uh, the referencing uh, methods. One of them is a very short type, only name and uh, year. So unless we write the bibliography, how can we match the two of uh, the referencing methods? No. OK, Mohammed. You actually you have to note the distinction between bi bi bibliography and then biography. Biography is already just 
brief uh, historical information about the author. That means this uh, bibliographical sketch is uh, explaining briefly uh, the, the history of the author, where he was actually born, where he attended his primary school, what is his maybe educational career, what is his overall maybe achievement in terms of maybe publications, all those need to also be just explained. This is bibliographical sketch. Brief history about author, optional. What you already just explained is biography. Biography, biography is actually totally different from bibliography. Yes? Biography is uh, a kind of reference, particularly will not be actually um, mostly applied in book. While writing books, the researchers, uh, individuals might maybe consult a number of books, but yet they will not actually acknowledge in each part on their specific books, in each uh, part of their, uh, 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 their citations will not be appearing, but more or less while the author is writing that book, one way or another way, he also just relying his ideas on that different books. And in that case, uh, at the end, bibliography will also be just put. That was the case, yes? Yeah, doctor, is, uh, yeah. uh, doctor uh, my, my question, uh, I think you uh, understand my question. Uh, uh, the, the very modern type of referencing currently used is like, uh, a Harvard style, yeah? Harvard style of referencing, which is name of the author and uh, year. Name of the author, just name of the author and year, and it's a very short form, which is usually appeared in the middle of every writing, every page, in the middle of every page. Uh, so if we are uh, using such type of Harvard referencing, unless we use the bibliography, which is uh, the title of the book, the where it is printed, uh, the author, uh, the printing press, such kind of things. How can we uh, manage to link between the two references? Uh, mm -hmm. That that was my question. Sorry, doctor, if you hear me very well. Um, okay, uh, ma'am, ma this one is the case. The biographical sketch is not uh, bi biography, uh, biographical sketch is uh, uh, maybe a brief history of the author, yes? But okay, 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 uh, okay, I understand. Uh, your, your, your point is on referencing part, and on referencing part, uh, there are actually different specific uh, options, like uh, the Harvard, EPA, and then uh, mail different specific formats for which we'll actually discuss uh, in subsequent chapter, in the, the subsequent part of this uh, chapter. But uh, those specific detail information need to, need to uh, apply. That was the one we uh, said is the biography. This one, the optional one is biography, doctor. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I got the point yeah? now. I, I, I will actually discuss the, uh, detail about the references section, the maybe in coming, uh, uh, maybe in said in fourth part of this chapter. That was uh, Mahmoud. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Is there anyone who want to actually add any uh, additional point on this part, on layout of thesis? Dr. Lee? Just one additional point, doctor. Is there any difference between paper and thesis? Paper and thesis. Uh, some of the students, while they are just writing their uh, work, they, just, they say it is paper. Paper is already just, as we know, paper. That is not thesis. You have to say thesis or maybe study. That is study, yes? The paper is totally another, yes? But, Synonymously, they actually use uh, interchangeably. That is wrong. You actually distinguish thesis versus paper because that is almost 
commonly appearing in, in some various research, uh, for instance, in, uh, in uh, abstract part. This paper explains, and then that means they just consider the study as if similar with paper, which is wrong, yes? And then uh, that was actually uh, wrong. Uh, you need to actually um, use uh, properly the study instead of paper, and it is different from thesis. Paper is already just um, paper is already just uh, uh, they, they, they just use actually actually interchangeably. Then so you may also made your point. Yes, doctor. Okay. Thank you, doctor. In chapter two, literature review. Yeah. We said that. It is divided into three parts, I think. Yeah. Conceptual, empirical, and the other one. Yes. Can you once pretty briefly explain what okay. empirical and conceptual literature is? Okay, thank you. This one is almost. Uh, uh, this one is almost. Uh, can you actually uh, maybe make it mute? Mute. Okay. Bro. Make it mute. Here. Okay. Uh, this one is almost discussed separately. Uh, maybe depthly in the second chapter of this course, how to actually write theoretical, empirical, and all those issues. But for your actually quick memory, theoretical literature is uh, it might be actually explaining explaining certain contextual definitions of uh, certain basic concept about that specific uh, topic, and then at the same time the theoretical background, the theoretical uh, backup of that specific uh, theory, the guiding theory might also be just included in theoretical literature, but the guiding theory that will lead research. But empirical literature is already research that was carried out by somebody, it might be institutions, it might be uh, researchers, but it is just uh, have certain data since and they collected and made recommendations, all those, that means empirical is already research which is carried out by certain individuals about the certain topics, but this one is theory, yes, to support the work. But the conceptual framework study, which is referred as the guiding framework of study, and you will actually, from synthesizing theory and empirical literature, you will make a clear conceptual framework of study for your own work. And that is referred as conceptual framework study. Usually, it was actually explaining using um, uh, sketch graphical form. Is also be explained. That was that was the case. Yes. Therefore, this empirical literature is literature which is entirely uh, done by previous researchers on similar topics, for which it will it will it will have certain data, secondary data, and all those. But uh, the theory is, uh, theoretical literature is the guiding theory for conducting those research. And then from both, you will synthesize the conceptual framework study. That was the point, maybe. Is there any additional point? Yes, Dr. Kanai. Okay, do that. Uh, okay. Uh... Just I want to know uh, the difference. Maybe uh, are they the same or not? This abstract and uh, executive summary. Uh, uh, yeah, almost uh, the content is similar. Almost similar. Executive summary, primarily uh, uh, in some institutions, like for instance in UN or maybe in any international institutions they usually uh, use um, executive summary. That was actually kind of mini, uh, mini brief uh, uh, descriptions about the all, uh, all aspect of the thesis might be actually uh, the issue 
Yes, that means almost similar with abstract, but in terms of uh, for the academic uh, thesis, we don't use uh, this uh, executive summary totally. Yes, but the idea is almost the same. What is already that one is already just done for maybe uh, for uh, different specific tasks. Is that clear? The idea is the same, but we will not actually use. Okay, I understand. I think it's, you know, uh, if it's executive summary, maybe for the organization or the purpose of uh, for, for, business, uh, yeah. uh, but yeah. for the case of universities or research paper, maybe we can say abstract, but the same like meaning. That, the same meaning, but uh, that one is for uh, different specific institutions. That was the case. Thank you, doctor. Yes, others tag us and then you they may actually make the point. Thank you so much, uh, dear. Uh, my question is uh, how to make paper without any questioner? Without using? Without any questioners, questionnaire collection, how to yeah. make papers? Uh, it's possible to make uh, thesis without using the questionnaire, but if you rely on secondary data. Okay. Secondary data slide, for instance, by simply collecting from certain uh, organizations, pre-secondary pre, pre measures, it, it might be possible to undertake research, yes? That is the case, yes? Other, maybe, let me also give additional chance. Okay, sometimes, uh, any questioners? Uh, yeah. Is that clear? Shall we actually proceed? بتمهرت كف بلو مبرر يتشالل ناشنال افيشن كوليج ينشنال ايرويز سهت كوبانيا ككفتا نيات مرتاقبا بنت نات راتي جنسي ملوك انان باقين ينباتشو بماسترس ديگري MBA با ستراتيجيك مانجمنت MBA با بانكينج انا فاينانس MBA با بيزنس ليدرشيب MBA با ريسك انا انشرانس MSC با انترناشنال تريد انا ايكونوميكس زرفوچ بوك اتلا مقرز يبقو پروفيسورو چاچن ارنگواري مبراتا چون عبرتوال በነገራችን ላይ በኬንያ ሀገር ከሚገኙ ስመጥር ዩኒቨርሲቲዎች በሚመጡ ፕሮፌሰሮች የትኩረት መስክ ትምርቶቹ መሰጣታቸው ልዩ ያደርገናል በመርጥ የትምርት ስርዓት የተገነባው ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ በመጀመሪያ ዲግሪ በአቪዬሽን ማኔጅመንት በሆቴል ማኔጅመንት በአካውንቲንግ እና ፋይናንስ በማርኬቲንግ ማኔጅመንት አስተማማኝ ትምርት ይገብዩና ራስዎንና ሀገሩን ይለውጡ አድራሻ 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስደው መንገድ ላይ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ ስህት ኩባንያ ህልሞን አሁን ያደርጋል Let's proceed, Doctor. Okay, if so, uh, I will actually briefly explain uh, the additional uh, task. Uh, this task uh, maybe will account about 20% uh, point. Uh, you will do previously, we actually uh, manage this as if it is a kind of group assignment uh, because of this COVID. I think we, we couldn't actually make those specific um, group, individual, group um, assignment. Uh, and then, uh, is, that, is that possible to make group assignment? Yes, Let doctor. Me... We, are, we are doing uh, group assignment in other course as well. Okay. If so, uh, let's make this one is group assignment uh, because uh, you have already uh, number of individual assignment therefore let's change it this to uh, group assignment uh, and then we'll uh, assign from 20 to uh, maybe um, 30 point uh, and then the, the thing is actually i have already just highlighted uh, what is typical layout of uh, standard thesis and this is already just discussed yes you see and then 
you will simply select, uh, you will form in this case, uh, how much group? About maximum of six? A maximum six, five to six. Yeah. From uh, form five to six group. and select uh, any recent cases uh, that was actually preferably in soft copy, which is then for partial fulfillment of MAV degree in, in any Ethiopian universities. Uh, you will actually find a number of uh, similar MAV degrees from either private or maybe uh, public universities, uh, preferably very recent. And then you will actually make a critical uh, review on it. And then this one is uh, maybe you might actually made uh, maybe uh, divide the different part for instance if one individual just evaluate from the primary part primary section part the others might might met by actually having balanced discussions for the remaining part that is also possible i think and then that means you will critically evaluate the thesis using the um, the checklist that was already just discussed above and you will comment how the primary section is just there. And I critically comment on each part of the introduction session. Evaluate uh, the relevance of the literature reviewed in the text citations, the referencing method, and then you will also comment on it. I will also just make it uh, maybe devs and the discussions on this part. And then you will also uh, provide comment on each a part of uh, maybe methodological part how the researcher is just uh, explained his research design, how the researcher is also explained his sampling design, data collection methods, method of analysis. You will make comment on it, yes? You will, you will actually compare against of the standard versus what is already just expected and what's already just uh, done. And you will make comment for each, yes? You will comment each part of the result and discussion part and then critically evaluate the conclusion drawn and recommendation on it and you will also compare, for instance, uh, there are typical specific common uh, problems. You will also evaluate the annex and appendices. That was actually, you will typ typically evaluate the whole uh, thesis in line of already just what is already just uh, discussed before. Exactly the same, you will simply select one th thesis and that thesis, uh, you will evaluate each part critically comment, you will comment on the introduction session part, the literature review part, you will read and then you will actually evaluate. And then for your quick understanding, uh, we also uh, have a similar type of maybe case while we are just reviewing uh, maybe most uh, SSS. And then therefore, let me also show you some of those, how we actually evaluate a student uh, on this uh, format, kind of this format, you see. Let's say, for instance, from very recent one, I also have uh, one uh, uh, one. Uh, if I just open one of these uh, thesis, uh, uh, this one is quite clear to you. Let's say this one is uh, that visible to you, Irma? This one is evaluation of MS thesis by yes, doctor, uh, one, it's yeah, one of my student, uh, student from uh, Arama University. Uh, and then uh, I was actually assigned as uh, an external examiner from Marisa University. And then uh, this is the title of the thesis. Actually, uh, I have kind of some specific general comments, and then very specific comments is also uh, made on each part of the thesis. Then I also have certain questions. This one is expected from uh, mostly from your uh, maybe uh, after conducting your thesis, and then you will have for sure an ex external examiners, and then he will actually make uh, his point on these issues. And then the previous session is you see. The previous session part is starting from all part 
you also need to uh, uh, you, you you need to also actually provide a discussions on each part the background study part and then uh, the statement you after reading and then what is already just and then what should be and what is already just done you actually need to made criticisms and then uh, need to also just in size and explain using the PowerPoint, yeah, like research questions and then scope in each part, you see, literature review part, analytical framework and then the empirical literature part, research methodology part, the, the research discussion part, and then summary conclusion part, recommendations, and then finally, I have some specific questions. You see, kind of this one is almost common for uh, most uh, Mabel, do you want to actually have some point? Mabel. You want to say something? Maybe it's by mistake, doctor. Okay, you so he already, he already just raised his hands. This one is simply, typically, uh, an evaluation of one thesis, you see? And a kind of this one is expected to work. And then uh, uh, I do have also different specific similar uh, format of a thesis, like one this one is from maybe one universities, I think. Uh, yes, from, from Jimma University, you see? And then this one is kind of uh, evaluations and then well specific uh, comments will also be just made from starting from the preliminary sessions how to actually and then the cover title page table of content you see and then the abstract part detailed descriptions of objective study made of data collections for instance by this student is made that was should not be actually made discussions on major finding was also uh, kind of background study in each uh, specific part, the statement problem, objective study part. Can, can you share us on the screen, doctor? Can you share us on the screen? Not, not, not visible to you, boss? Easy, not visible. Not visible, chat. Okay, let me also do that. Both of them not visible to you? This one, the first one, the yeah, Haramaya yeah. one, we have seen this. We have seen the Haramaya one. Yes, yes, yes. The second one, not visible. How about now? Now, now it's visible. Now visible, yes, you see. This one is from uh, Jimma University, yes, you see. And then the general comment. And then you will have actually similar kind of this format, like premium sessions, the title cover page, table of content, the abstract part, the introduction part, the background study also gave more emphasis to provide of like specific issues will also be just raised. These students, for instance, they have explained depthly about um, programmations on the background, st uh, background study part that was not expected, you see. We need to actually provide, we, we expect in the background, a brief theoretical and empirical uh, finding and a brief discussions on uh, investment programmations might be made, otherwise, that was, uh, if, if it is made depth about three page, that should not be the case. It must be reduced. The statement of problems, and then the empirical literature part, no related empirical literature review from Utopia, and then to identify the gap. That was his mistake, yeah? you see? The researcher, is, he didn't actually explain clear knowledge gap, you see? Objective study, for instance, no need to explain time frame, remove specific objectives, uh, a specific objective need to also be ex explained by Roman numbers, you see, in terms of uh, ordering, the limitation study. In each part of the, the thesis, very detailed, uh, detailed specific uh, 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 investigation will be made, you see, literature review part, empirical literature part, conceptual literature part, in this case, you may see, empirical uh, chapter three, uh, and, uh, and then research methodology part, research design is missing, you see. Data type source, this one is missing. Method of data analysis is missing, you see. And then the result discussion part is also, uh, it looks like this one, you see. And the conclusion recommendation part, 
and then you look for instance include summary some of students they actually this one is the most common problem you see they actually merge conclusion with summary the whole conclusion seems summary because it, it is explained using major finding study and proper citation is not also properly implemented a kind of this detail specific uh, uh, issues need to also be just provided you see that one is just for you uh, maybe understanding how to uh, work your assignment then you you will work uh, you will form a group a group uh, uh, about five to six and you will select one typical thesis very recent thesis which is uh, available in soft copy and then you will Doctors. evaluate mm. yeah sorry for interruption uh, yeah. some student uh, has mentioned in the, the group chat uh, there are some uh, group in the seven so uh, let's take it in consideration uh, by making five to seven very difficult to just make it uh, maybe very large number of group students per, per one class yeah? per, per one group is that manageable i think there were a group of people maybe uh, let's give them a chance to reflect on the point okay let me know the the your respective group by uh, you and then uh, th since this one is actually need to be presented uh, i think is that also quite many uh, how much number of total number of uh, groups we will have grandma uh, doctor i'm not pretty sure let me just figure out and i'll get back to you okay uh, if it is not that much a uh, very large number uh, we will have presentations for which uh, you will actually evaluate the thesis and then present to me yeah i think uh, we'll manage it and this uh, will will allow this present to have uh, maybe 20 and then 10 10 percent for uh, maybe the presentations and then about 30 point might be allowed to uh, to this task yes try to actually uh, google and find out mba thesis from ethiopian universities and then critically evaluate like uh, the example that I actually explained, and then try to synthesize and summarize using a PowerPoint. And then the group assignment should be prepared and summarized using PowerPoint and submitting along the reviewed, uh, the reviewed thesis. You have to, I have to actually evaluate your work against what is already just, uh, uh, therefore you have to actually submit both together to my email. I think, uh, we need to make this uh, uh, maybe uh, 30 next uh, week or next Thursday uh, onwards. But I'm not sure if you, if you have maybe limited number of groups, like about a maximum of five. And we will actually, uh, five or six, we will actually make uh, uh, presentations by two consecutive uh, maybe session that is actually quite good and then uh, let me know uh, your group and all those uh, from grima and then we'll make that specific discussions on this last part and then uh, i also uh, you see the problem is uh, uh, hard copy uh, previously it was also submitted but uh, since this one is group and we also uh, we can also make it through email because of this covid and then let's so just review all those uh, maybe additional requirement uh, that was that that was the case but the deadline for submitting the thesis to me is uh, june 30th that was uh, after three <laughs> weeks since and I make sure that my acknowledgement of receipt of your email on the date uh, that was the point yes try to also just uh, is that clear this 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 group assignment is that clear to you yes doctor it's clear but uh, since the final exam has scheduled for uh, july 6 uh, it's wise enough to rearrange the deadline so that we'll be able 
uh, to present uh, the group assignment. Uh, maybe that is actually need to be presented to me, yes? And then that, uh, and then, uh, do you want to add any additional time, Wilma? Not additional time. Uh, yeah. If you just give us yes. uh, two weeks, uh, it, it will be it fine, for example, June 23. So that we June. will have ample time to study for other final uh, exam. Okay, well, why don't you, uh, for me, let me actually know the exact number and then uh, we might also make it uh, uh, like starting from um, uh, next week on what this we, we, uh, for me it is quite manageable to, to make it to finalize on this date if it is uh, convenient for you. Uh, I'm not sure, and then I will actually check uh, the, the issues. Uh, still, I will also we will also have one remaining class on coming Thursday about the remaining uh, maybe mechanics of writing such report part. Then uh, the subsequent class need to also present at least three group uh, need to present this uh, group uh, need to also be just carried out, and then maybe we will actually finalize the class on Thursday uh, by June 80. And then try to schedule uh, to have presentations on your group work of task to be made on Monday, at least by, for three uh, group. And then Thursday, the remaining three groups, if we have about six groups. Yes? That, that is one possibility. Otherwise, uh, we might actually uh, Omit the presentations and then you will work the assignment and submit uh, to me and the remaining part might be shared. That was that was the case, yes. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Therefore, let me know uh, the total number of group and then uh, till then try to actually form your own group and then uh, maybe uh, maybe let me know your groups through, uh, uh, through Grima, and then uh, that maybe we'll actually, if it is manageable, we'll, we can make it. Mogus, uh, do you have anything to say? Yes, sir. Uh, is every group member should have to present on presentation? The problem is that one, you see. Had it been, if it is class, and then the presentation is quite mandatory, but uh, that pos is there a possibility of presenting uh, maybe uh, by maybe by having about three same time using this zoo? Is there possibilities? Yes, it's a possibility. There is a breakout uh, room section in the zoo, okay. but okay. Uh, for the benefit of time. Uh, yeah. One volunteer uh, can be present with a limited time in, in order to attain for the whole students so that we might learn okay. one to another. Okay, that, that, is, that is the only possible way. And then uh, they might actually make uh, discussions, maybe they might, others might actually make uh, uh, others, for instance, they might actually answer the question raised on the discussions. One thing, but uh, I don't actually even uh, encourage this group work because uh, in some of the case, the students are uh, quite uh, maybe reluctant and then they might actually left the work to one specific individuals. The whole task, some of the case might be done by one individual and then others mm -hmm. might not actually attempt that all. That was free riding problems. I also uh, give less credit because of this, uh, and then I also just maybe identify who is just working well and who is not uh, in the previous time during the presentation time. And the presentation time is also just uh, divided into three. And then I also ask it each individual and then all about the issues. But uh, if you actually uh, maybe uh, try to actually, because time is almost common to you all, try to actually, this, this task is quite 
um, maybe possible to divide among yourself. Like the premium sessions might be divided by two individuals, like introduction, then uh, the treasure part by the remaining maybe four individuals. And then the remaining parts might also be uh, the remaining two. And then you might also meet. And then lastly, <coughs> if you also form group uh, by forming group uh, presentation, and it might be quite uh, easy. Yes, it is. That, that I mean, the task is possibly to divide among yourself is quite easy. And then if you do that, then we will actually uh, be very lucky. Then uh, you will also uh, get very good ideas uh, about the detailed uh, uh, thesis evaluations. At the end of the day, you will also confront it to these specific tasks. The thesis will be evaluated using the same similar format. And then if you also know the trick, and then you will actually get ready before. That was my point. Therefore, uh, for sure, we'll have class on Thursday. And then uh, we'll actually, um, we have already just said the date, uh, the deadline is to be June 20. June 20 is actually uh, for submissions, but uh, the final completion period is 18 to 20. 18 need to be actually presented, and then the, the final submission period to me is up to June 20, is tentatively. Uh, uh, we will actually, uh, I, will, I will actually give you. Uh, maybe by simply observing, maybe considering the size, we'll decide about the presentations, if you have presentations or not. Is there anyone who want to actually uh, want to add any more? Is that, that clear in any way? The, the task is clear, yes? I'm sure it is clear. And then I will actually send this. Uh, 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 material uh, to you via uh, Grima today. Two students are raising their hand. Their hand. And you may actually make your point. Anyone who want to actually uh, want to add or raise questions? Doctor, please give him a chance for add this. So I think Moga student lower his hand. Okay. Uh, this will, you, you, you may actually. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. Okay, teacher. Malet, yeah, group assignment too. Sorry, I'm going to go to the group assignment too. I'm going to mind it to get a little. Never again, Savati Vano, Ula Group, you must like a Nebar Slovano. On Bazisat, I had this group of four marks in a mantle, class Laman again, Nebar Slovana, and Ona, Bazabi was a ring, Hulum Savatarelem, Amstalis, and Distalis, Savat, who let the group of the Chimas Langal Bergetang in it. Kazauch again, ye presentation Ulai, random presentation Maragichala, Lamsali, Savatum Gurupun, Amistum Gurupun, Bazakan, Hulum Tazagato, Sarto Metal, random presentation in Maragim Michal Betel del Salanda. So, to Mona, who let them are at Balangi Zemasarat, random presentation, Maliki Chalem Milas of Sandy, Malat Savat Masrat Lamara, random presentation. Randomly, Sabat Groupus, Andrew or Tamartalo, so present there again in Almarino. Yes, yes, and the Zabihon, Nita Shalemion, I come with the Manaragon, the Zaslona, Malatron. Maybe the confidence has fell like every year. Ah, Malet will loom a cool man coup assignment. Parasu, Ambum, Tarertum, Sertum, contribute Marag Michel, Yinur Batal, Yada Mokalone, Yerasum Bicham's hound, your group whom would take, is your Dan the Marathon, does he have a net no the Marathon, does he? Yeah, the group donor, Takwal. Yes, this group you must say to the maximum. The major of semester, I said this group no maximum in a burno. I want to maybe fresh it and maracalla, cause about Tibetan to the maximum. So let's see, bullet, bullet class, consecutive class presentation, Malak Michel, but Malak Michel, yes. Malak Michel, Kona, Mikatlo, Sanyona, Hamuslet, you know, Malatno. 
ይቻላል እዚህ ካለቀ በኋላ ሳይመንት ጊዜ ይቻላል ያንን አውቃችሁ ስፔሲፊካሊ አሁን ወይምቀጥለው ሐሙስ አንድ ሪሜኒንግ ፓርት አለ ከመጀመሪያው እስከ መጨረሻው ድረስ ያለውን ፓርት አንብባችሁ ነው የምትጨምሩበት አም ሹር ይሄም ደግሞ ጥሩ ዲስከሽን ጥሩ ኖሌጅ ሼሪንግ ይሆናል ምክንያቱም ያለውን የተሰራውን ስታዩትና እሱን ይባል ታርጋችሁ አገንስት ኦፍ ደግሞ ሞንክ አለበት አንብባችሁ ስትለዩት እሱ ጥሩ መማሪያ መማማሪያ ይሆናችሁ ብዬ አስባለሁ ስለዚህ ይሄ ፕረዘንቴሽን በሁለት ኮንሲኩቲቭ ክላስ በጁን 18 ባለው ክላስ እንዲያልክ ግን የትኛውን ፕረዘንቴሽን ተጠናቆ ለኔ እስከ 20 ድረስ ኖ ዳት ማች 25 ድረስ ሜድ ያስፈልግም እስከ 18 18 የምጨረሻው ክላስ ይሆንና የምጨረሻው ቀን የዛን ቀን ፕረዘንት ይደረጋል አንዱ ትልቁ ጉዳይ በዚህ ጊዜ ውስጥ ቀጨረስ ያልቻለ ግሩፕ ሪስፖንሲቢሊቲውን መስጠት መቻል ይኖርበታል ግልጽ ነው አይደለ ይሄንን በዚህ አካተዋለሁ ሌላ ተጨማሪ ሞገስ አይጥቶን በመስሪን አሰሩ ሞገስ ጨምር ይችላል አይ ተበልሶልኛል ዶክተር መጀመሪያ ሁሉም ግሩፕ ማቅረብ አለበት ያልክ መስሎኝ ነው ችግሬ ነው እዚህ ተስማሚ በቃ ይሄ አሁን ጥሩ ተስማም አስማም አስማምቶኛል ይሄ ስለዚህ ሁላችሁ ይሄ እንዳለ አስባችሁ በደንብ አልጋችሁ መዘጋጀት ያስፈልጋል በፓወርፖይንት ነው የምታዘጋጁት ፓወርፖይንቱም ፓወርፖይንቱም ብዙ ሊበልጥ አይገባም ምክንያቱም ሶስት ፕረዘንቴሽን ማለት እንዲቻል ማክሲመም በ 20 ኢንፋክት ማተር የሚያረጋው የሚጻፈው ሳይዝ ነው ግን ሰዓትን ዋይዝሊ መጠቀም ስለሚኖርብን ኦልሞስት ካ ማክሲመም ኦፍ 20 ስላይድ ስላይድ አስራ አምስት ደቂቃ ፕረዘንቴሽን ሆኖ አምስቱ ደቂቃ ለጥያቄ በዛው ላይ ተነስቶ ለምን ለምን ለመለስ እንድንችል እንዲሆን ግሩፕ አሳይመንት ግሩፕ አሳይመንት አንድ ፕረዘንቴሽን must be completed uh, until june ait otherwise ngide uh, ያቄ ካለ ሞገስ ምንጨምር ይችላል ዶክተር ካንን ካንን የ የአሳይመንት 1 ኢንዲቪጁዋል አሳይመንት 1 ጁን 30 ነው አሁን እሱ አ ጁን 30 ሁለቱ ሌሎቹ አሳይመንቶች አብሮ የሚሰሩ ናቸው ጁን 30 ናቸው ይሄኛው ግን ፕረዘንት መድረክ ስለላለበትና ከዛ በፊት ማለክ ስለላለበት ነው ቀድሞ የሚሆነው ለኛ ሰሜን ታይትልና ፕሮፖዛል ማለት ነው ማለት ነው ታይትልና ፕሮፖዛልና የሰርቬ ኮሽነር ፓርት ያለው ፓርት ሁለቱም አብሮ መሰረት ያለበት እስከ ጁን 30 ድረስ ነው ይሄኛው ግን ኮሽነሩ የራሱ ላይ ሆን ይችላል ዶክተር የለም ኢሹ ሊሆን ይችላል ሰርቬ ኮሽነሩ የዛው የራሱ ታይትል መሆን አለበት ወይስ የሌላ ኢሹ ነው የራሱ ታይትል መሆን አለበት ለራሱ ነው ዲሞንስትሬት እንድታደርጉ የሚፈልጉ ኦኬ ኦኬ ለራሱ ነው እንድታደርጉ የሚፈልጉ ስለዚህ ይሄንን አሳይመንት እንዳላችሁ 
አስቡትና ኦሬዲ ካሁኑ ፕሪፔር ማድረግ መቻ ይኖርባቸዋል ኔክስት ዊክ ባሉ ኮንሲኩቲቭ ክላሶች ላይ 3 3 የመጀመሪያው 3 ቀጥሎ ይሄ ግሩፕ ማለት የፕረዘንቴሽን ኦርደሩ በግርማ ሞገስ በኩል አሬንጅ ይደረግና በሁለቱ ክላስ ላይ ማኔጀር ጋር መጨረስ እንደምችል ይሁን የሚቀጥለው ፓርት about the presenting presenting the result እና የዚ የሜካኒክስ ኦፍ ራይቲንግ ሪሰርች ሪፖርት የሚለው ፓርትን በሚቀጥለው አምስ የነገው አምስ ላይ ባለው ክላስ ላይ እሱን ሰምራ ያዘረጋለሁ ነገር ግን ማቴሪያሉን ቀድሜ አሁን እንደከላችኋለሁ ቀድሞ ይደርሳችኋል የሚሰራው ነገር ከመጀመሪያ አንብባችሁ መስራቱን ቀጥሉ ለማለት ነው ዶክተር ሶሪ would you please also send us uh, the exam or sorry this uh, proposals get to proposal yeah one or two just check it adaragutna anyam besu beserat mesrat indinchil i eco on most andu tamariyoch ga tamariyochin evaluate sinareg usually yemin yeminhedebet format no formatu clearly qedeme yalquacho enezi partochin no and band min yedebachona that much specific to that studies no mi hono nji lik beza melku ndetseru inde example ndi honachu no nji su sun base ka adaragachu ya demo apply mi hono leza tnat bicha selona no yan specific format ihe no specifically ezu lay min ikat min chemra primary primary research yelijochu secondary information share marak hono sile tsemay no ay tigre lo mine minalbat le and the way of explanation kaza ent le marak no nji does matter yaw minalbat more ndin nawqo sile felleku no tigre lo min malet minim specifically ahun qedem betelaye gize anestwacho partoch neburwal ahun misale no typically yetinyom uh, specific uh, part many normal it is this part general comment in normal general comment specifically selezza tnat mim melekatawun overall na anta sun lay melekatachu chilal chigrello gin specific comment specifically thesisun be zargachu table of content lemisali matsaf indet allebet liju indet tsafa min alsafa mimilawun neger comment id maragu abstract lemisale min misrat allebet min misrat yellebet mimilawun min lezza specifically lezza la andu tnat ahun la andu tnat lay mitekemo format lelelawnyaw rasu sun aihonum you see on introduction specifically gulet gulet specific comment sir yemejemera gulet metaban premium section premium section bilan yallacho patoch allu kemejemerew kekever page jemro azataf jemro ske abstract dress yallo step bedem minayawalle kaza tikkel mon mon ale mohonu against of kenebrew katemarachu taitachu ambbachu ተረርታችሁ ከዛ በኋላ እነሱ ግሬስ ያዛርጋችሁ ለእያንዳንዱ ፓርት ስፔሲፊካሊ ሚኒ ብሪፍ ሰመሪ እንድትጽፉ ነው ስፔሲፊካሊ ቴብል ኦፍ ኮንቴንት ለምሳሌ እንዲህ ሞን ሲኖርበት እንደዚህ ማረክ አልቻለም ይሄን ነው ያልሰራን ባክግራውንድ ስቴዲ እንዲህ ሁለተኛው ፓርት እንደዛ ኢንትሮዳክሽን ፓርት ኢንትሮዳክሽን ሁለተኛው ፓርት ነው then literature review ሶስተኛው ፓርት ነው you see ከዛ ሪሸር ሜቶሎጂ በውስጡ ያሉትን ምን ምን ኤክስፔክት እንደሚደረጉ ይታወቃሉ yes ለምሳሌ ሳምፕሊንግ ዲዛይን ይላል ለምሳሌ yes sampling design is basically the mystery is the first is uh, selection of district should not be made since the study is uh, the case of specific haremia in mil selone tnatu lay topic rasu the case of haremia selemi researcher sample procedure selection lay first stage lay haremia merich yallo blo malat yenebetim eh menum chigir yallo yes gin researcher ya hono yalle due to convenience for the study አይሰለክ ታርማ የሚል ገልጿል ያ ሞን የለበትም ብለን ስፔሲፊካሊ አሁን ይሄ 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 ስፔሲፊክ ኬስ ላንዱ ለዛ ለቲፒካሊ ለዛ ሪሰርች ብቻ አፕላይ የሚያደርግ ነው ሳምፕል ሳይት ተርሚኔሽን ፎርሙላ አጠቃቀሙ ሁሉንም ስፔሲፊክ ፓርቶችን በደንብ አይቶ ሲንተሳይዝ አድርጎ ተደርቶ 
ያልተሰራውን የተሰራውን መለየትና በስተመጨረሻ ላይ ሲንተሳይዝ አርጎ ማንበብን መላክ ነው ያንን ደግሞ እናንተ የሰራችሁትን በእናንተ ፕረዝንቴሽን ብቻ አንይ ሊሚትድ አልሆነም ኦሬዲ የሰራችሁትን ማብራቹ ስለምትልኩልኝ በኢሜል የሰራችሁትን በግሩፕ ያን ቴሲስ በዚህ ፎርማት እኔ ድጋሚያ ያውallo ማለት ነው ምን ሰሩ ምን አልሰሩም የሚለውን ያስ ዩሲ ሪሜኒንግ 20% ኮንቴንት ዋይዝ ውጤቱን ለመስጠት እንድችል ማለት ነው ፕረዝንቴሽን ፕረዝንቴሽን ላይ ኦሬዲ ራንደምሊ ምንጪ ፕረዘንት በመጣርውት ይወሰናል ያ ነው እና ፎርማቱ ኦሬዲ ያስተማርኳችሁ ነው ግን ቲፒካሊ ለአንዱ ጥናት ለአንድ ካንዱ ይለየ ስለዚህ እናንተ በመጣጥኑ ጥናት ይወሰናል በሚለው ያዘው ታንክ ዩ ዶክተር እሺ ተመለስኩኝ ያ ግልጽ ነው ምንም ያን ያህል ልዩነት ነገር የለውም በጣም ጥሩ አዎ ስለዚህ በዛ መሰረት አንድ በጣም ፕሮፖዛል አችሁን ሲሰሩ ራሱ ብዙ ቴስቶችን አይታቸው እነሱ ቴስቶች ላይ ያሉትን ክሪቲካሊ አንዱ ለፓሻ ፉልፊልመንት ተልቁ ጉዳይ እነዚህ ቴስቶች በኢንተርኔት ላይ ታገኛቸዋላችሁ ከ ታገኛቸው ታገኛላችሁ ኢንተርኔት ላይ እነዚህ ቴስቶች ነገር ግን እነዚህ ቴስቶች 100% ኢንተርኔት ላይ ስላሉ ደና ስራ ናቸው ፐብሊሽ ዶን አብላቹ ሪኮግናይዝ ማድረግ የለባቹ ምክንያቱም ሳቲስፋክተሪ ብለ ወይም ደግሞ ድጋሚ እንዲሰራ የተደረገ ፔፐርም አፕሎድድ ይሆናል ኤክሰለንት ፔፐርም አፕሎድድ ይሆናል እና እናንተ እንደምታዩት እንደምታመጡት አይነት ነው እንጂ ኮንቴንቱን አምባችሁት ካለያችሁት መለየት ያዳግታል የትኛው የተሻለ ፔፐር ነው የትኛው አይደለም የሚለው ነገር መለየት አትችሉ ካላነበባችሁት ሰታነብት ግን ብዙ ዲቴል መውጣት ይችላል ይሄው አይነት ይሄው አይነት ፕሮሲጀር ነው ዲስ ዲፌንስ ላይ የሚያጋጥማችሁ በተለያየ ጊዜ የቴሲስ ዲፌንስ በሚቀጥለው አመት ጀምሮ በሚኖር ጊዜ ፓርሲፔት አድርጋችሁ በሰው ተማሪ ፕረዘንት ሲያደርግ ሲጠየቅ ሲመልስ ፓርሲፔት ማድረግም ፓርትሊ ሪሰርችንም ፕራክቲካሊ መማር እንደማለት ነው ምክንያቱም ዞሮ ዞሮ ነገር ያያችኋለሁ አንድም ተማሪ ቴሲስ ሳይሰራ ይሄንን አካዳሚክ ኤክሰርሳይዝ ሳልፍ ወደ ምቀጣው ፓርት ሪኳርመንት ኢን ዘ ፓርት ኦፍ ሪኳርመንት ተብሎ ይወሰደው ኢን ፋክት ዋይዝ መሆንም ነው በሰው ላይ ያሉ ቴሲስ ዲፌንስ ኢትስ ኦፕን ማንም ገብቷል ተይ ነው ማድረግ ይችላል አካዳሚክ ኤክሰርሳይዝ ነው ፈጣኙ አንብቦ በትክክል የሚሰማው ነው የሚጠይቀው በሴም ታይም ደግሞ ተማሪውም ደግሞ የሚያቆን የሚመለሰው ቢትዊንግ ግን በጥያቄ ነው የሚመለሰው ማለት እናንተ ብዙ የተሻለ ነገር መማት ይችላልላችሁ በራሳችሁ ኢምፕሩቭ ማድረግ ይችላልላችሁ ተቀጣይም አካዳሚክ ካሪየር ሊያገዛችሁ የሚችል ፖይንቶችን ድሮድ ማድረግ ይችላልላችሁ ስለዚህ ያချင်း ኤክሰርሳይዝ ያချင်း አካዳሚክ ኤክሰርሳይዝ ማምጣት እንድንችል ነው ግን ፎር ፊቸር ቴሲስ ፕረዘንቴሽን በሚኖር ሰዓት ላይ ስኬጁል አድርጋችሁ ገብታችሁ አቴንድ ማድረግ ብዙ አይነት የሪሰርች ቴክኒኮች ስኪሎችን እነዚህ ኢሹዎች ናቸው ሬዝም ይደረጉትና እነሱን እንትማራላችሁ ለማለት ነው። ጥያቄ ካለ ጥያቄ መልሳለሁ ጥያቄ ከሌለ አሁንስለት እንገናኛለን ማቴሪያሉን መልስላችሁ ልክላችሁ። ለዩነት መፍጠር አላማችን ነው ዓለም አቀፍ ተወዳዳሪ መሆን አለባችሁ። የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ ጥራትና ደረጃውን የተጠበቀ ስልጠና በመስጠት ብቁ ዜጋ ያፈራ ነው በፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን በበረራ መስተንግዶ በቲኬቲንግና ሪዘርቬሽን በሆቴልና ቱሪዝም ሙያዎች አስልጥነን ተወዳዳሪና አድርጎታለን ኮሌጃችን ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር ዓለም አቀፍ ቁጥና ያለው ስልጠና እየሰጠ ይገኛል በፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን በበረራ መስተንግዶ የምንሰጣቸው ስልጠና ከኢትዮጵያ ሲቪል አቪዬሽን ባለስልጣን ሙሉ ቁጥና አለ አድራሻ ከጎላጉል ታወር 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስዶ መንገድ ላይ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እት ኩባንያ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ ህልሞን እሁል ያደርጋል